hello hello everybody i'm tanya and you tuned in to perfectly imperfect gardening welcome back today i want to update you guys kind of give you a little update on how the passion fruit doing because i did a video on it from when it came in the mail it was like that big and i want to show you guys within a year how big your passion fruit could be they are very fast growers you can plant them in the ground or you also can plant them inside of pots if you plant them inside of pots you have a better chance of not getting shoots throughout your yard because once the the root get developed and spread across your yard it can bring up little shoots that will also bring up more plants passion fruit can take over your yard like a weed if you don't be careful so if you don't want that to happen you most likely want to use a pot but for me i really don't care if it come up that's more fruit for me i'm gonna prop it up i'm gonna try to make it work because that's more fruit but for some people with smaller yards or things set in pacific ways and don't want all those volunteers coming up everywhere you might want to be careful about putting your passion fruit inside of the ground. I forgot to tell you guys that. And there's also some other things that I want to point out with passion fruit. So stay tuned. Guys. First, I want to show you guys the purple and yellow passion fruit. The yellow passion fruit I put in when um, I put into put inside the giant passion fruit, which is over there. I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. So let me let me flip the camera and I'm gonna show you guys real quick. The yellow and the purple passion fruit and tell you some things about okay guys this is the yellow passion fruit and go back and look at the passion fruit video video the unboxing that i had got of my giant passion fruit i had bought this one right along with it and when i got it it had caterpillars ended up getting caterpillars all over it and i'm still having problems with caterpillars eating on my leaves still having that problem and I have to fix this up because it's getting crazy on this side here this is the yellow side with all the yellow and this side here is the purple side with the purple right here the reason why I did this like this purple on one side and yellow on the other side is because the yellow needs it need another type of passion fruit so it could be fertilized now the purple one don't doesn't need another fruit another passion fruit to be fertilized it can fertilize it you itself it has both sexes where it's self um, pollinating self-fertilizing self pollinating that's yeah it's self pollinating so it don't need another vine to pollinate it but my yellow passion fruit i do so i put both of them on here so they can help each other out and it's only some months old and it's going crazy i'm gonna get out here and fix it up up to the trellis I'm going to fix the vine up to the trellis as soon as I could. But this one right here is the purple. And it's growing lovely in this right here side. Which is, has less leaves. But the top up there is pretty good. It's growing. They're getting ate up by something. but they grow very fast. I picked to grow passion fruit for two reasons. Because of the fruit, I heard that they was delicious. Sweet, tart, different, and I wanted to try different fruit. I can get all the citrus fruit I want. I got citrus trees too. But 
I also wanted to get fruit that you cannot just go and get for cheap in the grocery store. These fruits can cost like $6 a pound. $6 a pound, and I can grow my own. Then I go in the grocery store, buy one for $6 a pound. It's a win-win for me. And when I bought the plants, the one I just showed you, the yellow one I bought bigger. It was a bigger plant, and I paid good money for it. Y'all, let me tell y'all a quick story. My husband, he take my dog walking. He take TJ walking all the time because we have a um, creek, and we stay right by the beach. Y'all know we stay like a couple rows from the beach. If I stay in a high rise, I'd be able to see the beach from where I'm at. Stay so close to the beach. And then I have a creek right next to my house. The creek run all the way from the beach all the way to Okeechobee. Um, and so it runs all the way down. And you can walk like walk creep up to the um to the creek, sort of like the beach. So you can go in and go out if you want to. So when JT get hot, he'll go, my husband let him go and run into the creek. Cause it's pretty clean and all that stuff. It's a nice, nice creek. They got it fixed up real pretty. Got ducks and all that stuff over there. Real nice. And so I guess because of my pun here, he thought he could do the same thing when he got hot was to jump into the pond because it gets so hot here. And he gonna, I'm gonna show you what, let me show you. Now look what he did. We had to take the baskets out. He jumped into the pond and then he couldn't get out. He couldn't get out. Good thing my husband seen him and heard him splashing. He pulled all my pots in. That one right there dumped completely in there. I don't even know where it is. That was the Louisiana Iris. It's dumped in there completely. I don't know where it is at in there. It looked like the lily's still okay. But the um the canna lily right there don't got submerged all the way in. Ugh. I wonder if his butt gonna try to do it again. So I hope he learned the, his lesson that this pond is nowhere like that creek. He can't just jump in it like he do down there. So hopefully he, he learned his lesson and I won't be losing any more plants because I think they were doing good. I had just did a video on how good the aquatic plants was doing in my pond. And now they're gone. But that's okay, because I just gonna start over. He don't know no better. He just wanted to cool down on this hot behind Florida weather. So I forgive him. I love him. And I would get more. So so now I'm gonna show you my giant passion fruit. To get the big passion fruit. I'm gonna show you a picture of that right now. And then I'm gonna flip the camera. Okay guys, I'm over here, but here with my passion fruit, the giant one, that's the stalk, and it's under a year old, and it's growing up, it's doing its thing y'all, under a year already, and I have another one over here that's not growing as fast. But I put this one, end up putting this one in the ground like some weeks later. Because I had missed and left it on the, the table. And I came back and I'm like, oh, I forgot. And then I put it in the ground. So it had a slower takeoff than this one. See, it was wrapped all around here and everything. So y'all got to be careful of what you put by your passion fruit because if a tentacle come out it's going to choke it 
See this? See how it look? Look, it choked my grapevine knot. I got one that looked like it's gonna do good that I left right here. So hopefully I can get this one to start going right to this arch. Because this baby right here, it was it's all it was all tangled up into here. Cause I gotta get all this right. I'm taking these tires out and I'm putting in some big pots. And I got I'm getting all this all the weeds clamped out of here. I keep saying I'm gonna get to it, gonna get to it. Haven't got to it yet, but I'm gonna get to it, y'all. But that's the danger too. You have to watch out with these passion fruit. They will choke out of the plants because the it get really really tight around the other objects to hold on it grabs it real tight let me show you right here before i tied them up there look at that see how it gets so tight around it'll choke it out i took most of these off They'll twist right off. There it goes. And they get so tight that it'll choke and kill your plants. So you have to be careful with that. Because they grab on anything it could. Very good climbers. How pitiful that grape look now because of it. Now it's growing nicely. I want this whole thing right here covered with these two plants. It's going to be covered. When it's covered, I'm going to do another update so that you guys can be able to see how it look. When it get its flowers, when it get its fruit. When it get all of that. So make sure y'all hit that like button. This subscribe button and the bell button. So you can get all the videos. So y'all can see how everything turn out. And it's very simple to do. And I fertilize it with fish emoji. Right here. Let me show you. Well, I got this um, grow and gang this time, but it grows trees, grows flowers, and vegetables. This is what I'm using right now. And I use fish emoji that was on sale probably because I'm a clearance girl. And stuff like that. So y'all go ahead on, get that passion fruit, put it in the ground. Within a year, you'll be far, a far long way. And within a couple years or so, you'll be getting fruit yourself. And you won't be paying $6 a pound for a fruit, for one fruit. We can get a whole lot of them just for your elbow grease, for your hard work and time and patience because passion fruit is very easy it grows pretty much on itself very easy just uh needs patience that's pretty much what you need patience and let it go for what it know and that's what i'm doing so i can't wait for it to grow and cover this up so it could be shade i took the top thing down off so it could be shade y'all and i also forgot to tell you that these passion fruit live to up to be about seven years some people get them to 10 years so it can go anywhere up to 10 years but mostly like seven around seven years so we're gonna go say seven years you can last like seven years but they very easy to propagate all you need is a piece of the the um stem to put in the ground in order to propagate so you start your next plant and I'm going to do a video on that coming soon. Well, maybe soon. One day, I'm going to do a video on that. 
So y'all be ready for that. Make sure you have your bell button clicked so you can be able to get the videos. I want to thank you guys for staying to the end of this video. Oof, normally I put my hair thing on because I sweat real easy in this humidity. Florida where I'm at is very hot. And it's not just like the sun on me because the sun just went in right now. But it's the humidity. That humidity makes it even hotter make it way hotter and sweaty so whoo so you know this video gonna be cut short cut real short whoo yes so thank you guys for staying to the end of this video I appreciate it so much. I appreciate all y'all support and everything. And I hope you guys go out there and try to grow your own passion fruit. It's worth it. You'll save money in the long run. Just a little bit of elbow grease by putting it in the ground. And patience. A little bit of time. And you can grow your all the passion fruit you want to eat. Passion fruit. Peaches. Mulberries, um, grapes of all different types. My muscadines getting ready right now. Can't wait. And also, not only my muscadines are getting ready, I also have um um they got the grape juice out. Concord, my Concord grapes are also getting ready. <laughs> Y'all like chocolate oh no <laughs> i just love it i love it love it love it you guys you know what i'm gonna do i'm hoping that i'm gonna see you later